Susan here. Um, but I'm not alone. I'm with someone right now. Hey. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, hey, I'm David. Also known as. Oh, sorry. Mine presents. Or Solar Penry or Leafy on Live, whoever you know him as. Yeah. Um. So basically, right now I'm gonna be basically talking a little bit about well, us. As you can see from our adorable picture here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so I should probably start by what made me start, well, talking about us. You see, because the last night, well, at the time of after recording this, the other night I had a dream about David. Oh, it's alright if I call you David, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. I basically had a dream about him. Well, I don't 100% remember if it was him, but I had feelings that it was him. I could feel his hug and I could feel him kiss the top of my head. I know it may feel sound weird that I have a dream of him, but let's be soon. Well, sorry, this is unscripted by the way, so <laughs> this is like really like off the top of my head, so <laughs> not exactly prepared, but I feel like talking about this tonight. Yeah. So. And why did you change to Nami? I don't want Nami, I want us. <laughs> oh, hold on a sec, guys, I'm sorry. You see, I'm unprepared for this. There, there's a fix to us. Okay, um, anyways, so, about me and David, um, we actually started our relationship roughly seven years ago, right? Yep, 2011. Yep. We became, we were friends on YouTube for about one to two years, I'd say. About one to two years, though, that's correct. Yeah. Um, and how we got together was, well, kind of an interesting story. You see, around when David had his old account, Wave 3456, if any of you guys are... That you know, dumpster fire, basically. <laughs> yeah, if any of you guys remember that. Um, you see, during his second um, Ask Wave, he ended up getting a question regarding, well, if him and I should go out on a date... And what did you res and what was your response, sweetie? Something along the lines. Of, I was a little bit flustered by the comment originally, and then I commented on her on your beauty and all that jazz, basically, to, in, to put it in layman's terms. Yeah, which was at the time was kind of awkward because mm -hmm. at the time I didn't think that David had developed any kind of romantic feelings for me. I, at first, just considered us as just, well, friends. But I've known David for about a year, for a little bit, for a few years. We got along pretty well, and I decided to give him a chance. Then September 2nd, 2011? 2011, yeah. Is when we officially became boyfriend and girlfriend. Admittedly, I was pretty stressed out, or worried about putting that, or keeping that in the video. Because I was worried that it would screw up the friendship and all that jazz. Yeah. But, but, I mean, I can get why you would be worried because you thought I would say no. Because I have had incidents like that in the past, so. Yeah. But anyways, so the first few months of us being together were interesting. I mean, our parents, I'm sure, were had some opinion on the matter of us being a long distance couple and especially mm -hmm. considering we met on the internet of all places yep which is not exactly in good terms a pos uh, most like commonplace to meet people i mean on youtube i mean it's just not something you see every day i guess right and of course like my parents were of course worried about my safety and all that cuz they teased david about him me being like older and having a wife and kids and stuff and I'm like no he oh, isn't God. like that but David did show me proof of who he really was mm -hmm. and I kept believing in him eventually after some time my parents got used to us dating and mm -hmm. many years passed since then and and after high school we just kept moving forward with our lives of trying to keep together in this relationship. But, mm -hmm. unfortunately,
unfortunately, we have not always had good days. That Admit is true. Admittedly, we did get into an occasional fight or two. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean. But doesn't. And we haven't. And I have admitted there have been a close calls of a breakup a few times. But we just keep trying our hardest to, you know, keep together because. I worry if I end up lo if anything happens to me that he's not going to be the same guy again. He'll go back it, to being a depressed wreck like he used to be. It would leave an impact on me the, uh, if anything happened to you. And the reverse would be the same. I would be really sad if anything happened to him. Yeah. But here's where things... Well, recently, things have been a little harder on us. Well... I should say me specifically because there have been numerous times I've asked him when we would meet, but there's been a lot of problems regarding us meeting. That's correct. The major thing right now is, well, money. We both don't have the money to come see each other. Mm -hmm. I'm only working a part-time job that only... That I only work three hours each day for like five days a week. I mean, sure, I'm getting a little more hours now, but the holidays are coming around, and well, I gotta save up money to send this one here some presents. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because I literally got done my shopping for you today, so. <laughs> but, but it's not just like we, but this, but well, like I said, as much as we've wanted to meet, we don't necessarily have the funds to meet whether we're both because we've discussed the plans of traveling like the major thing we discussed is either him coming to me or we both travel like midway mm -hmm. and we have decided on like maybe one or two places to meet midway I can't disclose them because reasons Probably. yeah but the problem is we both don't have like the necessary funds funds to meet and we don't have time to actually meet because I know you have a lot of things to deal with and I'm of course working at my job mm -hmm. and keep in mind when we did w and when we did want to meet previously you were still in college and I was on top yeah. oh, sorry. oh god I was just gonna say on top of that there were also several other problems with it with the, the original plan in place so that couldn't fall through or that ended up falling through as a result. Yeah. I mean, it's sad that we both really want to meet because if we meet, we can actually hopefully determine our future together. And mm -hmm. who knows? Maybe it will develop into something more. But until then, we're stuck in this situation. Our distance is roughly 550 miles about nine and a half hours for us to meet so mm -hmm. can't give locations because reasons privacy <laughs> yeah and plus and like i said traveling is really expensive i can't i don't drive and not to mention i don't have passport stuff yet well at the moment anyway i want to get it soon but i have other things i gotta pay for before i do any of that and, well, long distance relationships, I know for many of you who have one or had have one in the past, they're a real struggle. I get that. I mean, look at us. We've been in one for a little more than seven years now. And we've had, had our rough days. Mm -hmm. Another example of this, or... Even if it's not in um, a long distance couple, look at all the stories you hear about wives or husbands of people who go overseas and spend several months or even potentially years not really seeing them face to face because they're in another country dealing with wartime efforts or the like. Yeah, it's another example. Long distance relationships can be very hard on people. And I should know I have my struggles. I probably mm -hmm. said that already. I don't know how many times already. And you've had to put up a lot of my bowls, so it at least, so. And you had to put up with mine, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Mm. Um. I know some of you guys really do want to help us. I get that. Um. 
we've had thought about maybe doing like some sort of like um, GoFundMe or whatever, but at the moment we're not really sure about it yet. There's also other problems with that, like potentially taxes, because a campaign like that would have to pay taxes and the like, and neither of us would want to get in trouble with our governments in our particular states because of that. And because if that happened, then we couldn't see each other anyways. Yeah. On top of that, I, the reason I haven't considered that much further is because it feels cheap and it feels kind of mean to basically be asking you guys to give money for us when you could be using that money to help yourselves take care of more important situations. Exactly. I mean, we really appreciate all you guys' support for us. We really do. Mm -hmm. Like, we love that you guys are supporting us and hoping we do meet. Um, we don't have a date yet, but we can promise one day you guys will get a video of me and like, me and David hugging for the first time. <laughs> yep, of course. But we just can't promise anything right now because of our situation. It's not a case of it we can't, or it's not a case of we don't want to do it, it's a case of we can't do it at this point in time. appreciate all the support you guys are giving us and hopefully one day that dream of me hugging David will actually come true exactly same yeah. um is there anything else you want to add sweetie I think we covered most of it um basically the point of this video is just to talk about uh, us this isn't like a plea for help or anything like we don't need it and Frankly, you guys uh, deserve to keep your money and stuff. Like, we'll be able, we'll see each other one day. It's it's all good, basically. We're not doing this as a plea for help or anything. We're just doing this to talk about the situation about us and all that jazz. Yeah. So, and to any of you who do have a long distance relationship, don't give up yet. You mm -hmm. will meet. You will meet, and you'll have a future with your significant other one day. Yeah. Just, again, look at all the stories of people in the army who, have, who don't see their spouses for months or even years. They turn out pretty good. Outside of uh, PTSD and stuff, but in terms of the romantic part, the romantic part, most of it turns out pretty good. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, um, thanks for listening to our story. Yeah. And we hope one day we will meet, mm. we'll hug, maybe kiss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mostly yeah. want to hug you, though. Of course. Right. Um, so continue to give us your support, guys. Um, try not to give us any money, okay? Because, like, like David said, use it for yourself, guys. As much yeah. as we love, we would love the help, we kind of want to try and work at this on our own, but... Exactly. Things could change, but for right now, worry about yourselves, guys. Keep your yeah, especially you around Christmas. Like, spend time with your family if you're on good terms, especially. Because we're getting near the end of the year and all that jazz. Just enjoy yourself. Yeah. Me and David, I know, will enjoy ourselves, like, when we open our gifts that we send exactly. each other. Yeah. Spend some time together, of course. Maybe see, some, see a movie or something. Yeah. And if you're feeling depressed, try and get some help from either in online or either or offline. People exactly. are willing to listen and help. Exactly. And if you ever want to look up a site that will help, that can tell you what you can do with long distance couples, I will link some, link a site that I like to go to down below. And you can even buy these really cute bracelets that David and I bought together once. <laughs> yeah, still have them. I think mine's behind my laptop at this point in time, but I have it. I so. still have mine too. Admittedly, one of mine snapped because of the uh, quality at the time, but I got another one, so. And, now, right. and near to end this, I just want to say a little quote that's on this dual bracelet that David and I have. Mm -hmm. I love you to the moon and back, sweetie. <laughs> I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, thanks for listening. And uh, hope maybe one day our my wish will be fulfilled. Well, our wish will be fulfilled. A yeah. meaning. But until then, uh, see you guys next time, and uh, peace. Have a good one, everybody.